Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, or whatever time you like. Hello, it's me, Connor Hay, and welcome to the Stanley Parable. Um, thank you for joining us, Lego Man Plays, and the Hulk, Javar, and Bunny coming in at the last minute with the bonjour. And all those who are watching the playback after the stream is posted, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, it's <laughs> been a while since you joined the stream. Yeah, I know, right, Bunny? And you're coming in to this very, very high quality mwah, video we got going on here. Hey, Howling Winds. Um, glad you guys could join me on this journey. And first and foremost, I do want to apologize if the camera overheats, it will turn off. But I do have my backup webcam, the one I've been using uh, for a while. So if it does turn off, don't worry, I will have my webcam um in its place if something does go horribly wrong. <laughs> so Nikita says, damn, the camera looks fire, and then puts two pumpkins. Not sure what the pumpkins are about, but <laughs> thank you, Septic. Um, but yeah, and this camera, great. Mm, and it's perfect. I like it because it's nice and white. I wish I had like a mirror to like show you the camera, but then I just realized I don't, you can't see the camera. Video quality, I know, right? Um, let me guys, let me guys, let me know, guys, if the like the audio was too loud in the game because I didn't have to, uh, I couldn't test the game audio, but look at the stream quality. I know, right? Um, also, Lego Man, thank you so much for being here because I know that you probably just woke up like I did, uh, you know, from playing Among Us. We played Among Us last night. If you um, were joined in my Discord and Cuba's Discord, uh, he randomly was just like, hey, let's play Among Us. Here's the codes. And he put it on Discord and Lego Man was the only one that was joining us. Thank you so much for joining our Among Us game. That's right. I got a, I got, I got Space Bomb in the background there. Um, but I'm going to not dilly dally for too long or start the game. So the game's not going to have any audio when I first click it, but then I'll get the audio running in a second. So there's no audio now. So there should be audio now. So let me know if it's too loud. It should be just like background noises. Um, I mean, everything just goes wrong. I'm so not used to the setup, so here we go, guys. Um, I, was, I was messing with the video settings, so that's what that was about. Uh, well, here we go. The Stanley Parable. Okay. It, it's kind of cut off, but never is the end, never is the end. The end is never, the end is never, but never, end. If I could read, man, and it's loading. Kona really got us among us in the background. Exactly. Yeah, because it's hard to see, like, usually in the other way. And I, I do apologize for, like, the other junk you can see, this I'm sure. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came. Though he had been made exactly for this job, and Stanley was happy. If and he's happy, one day, oh. something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. What happened, something Stanley? He would never quite forget. What? He had been at his desk for nearly an hour mm -hmm. when he realized that not one single order Aww. had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Where is everybody? Yeah. In all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, oh, I guess it's me. From his desk, and stepped out of his office. Okay, uh, Wub says, I remember there being an achievement early in the game if you interact with the doorknobs a certain number of times. There's really no other reason to it. It's just there. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> for, for alone at work. Try not to tell me too much about it, because again, I don't know the game. I don't know, I want to be blind a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to, you know, be ruined, spoiled. Let me get the, hold on, can I, give me two seconds. I want to minimize my, there we go. Oh, no, I can't see the chat now. Oh, crap. Let me... There we go. Okay, I'm good to... I have, like, a double window thing going on, but I can't fix it. Sorry. All right. You guys can't see it, but I can see it. But it's just going to be trippy for me. I have two windows of the game going. Um, I'm just in the game. All right. So, um, 
I am the stand the man. Okay, uh, there's my coffee. Uh, I mean, there's my cold chair. Hey, chair. What time is it? 11... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 11, 25. Okay, how do I, oh, oh, I sneak around like a snake. I'm a snake boy. All right, so, um, what does that say? Can I crouch? Can I crouch? Oh, I can, I like how when I click, it's like a keyboard sound. Like, um, can I pick up stuff? Can I, whoop, snaking around. Can I call 911? 911, my entire office is, Vaporized. Can I click? I can't click some things, but I can click other things. I, I want my coffee. All right, so can I open this? No, no. Hello, what are you? Okay, hold on. For some reason, I thought the stream would be another four hours. Yeah, normally it's at like two o'clock, but I'm doing it at eleven because I don't want to uh, Cuba streams. I don't want to interfere with his stream. Two o eight. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Come in. Hey. Oh, it's the sound of the doorknob. That's cool. Buddy, buddy, hey! Okay. I bet this takes place after the Thanos snaps since there's no one. No, but there'll be half the people. There won't be no one. His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Hey. Stanley decided to hey. go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hey, let me out. Uh, let me in. Let me in, rather. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> Love that meme. It's my favorite meme. Alright, so. Alright, so, uh. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Mm hmm. What does it say? Who deflected? Who. Partner? Who farted? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, who? What? Okay, so. I can't. Can I crouch? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. <laughs> Nor did it advance the story in any way. God? <laughs> I do like that he's narrating what I'm doing. That's cool, because I was just... He was like, he should go to the meeting room, and I didn't. This man doesn't even have a computer, he just has a stapler. What? Oh, he has, a, he has like, a, a pencil sharpener. He's just a pencil sharpener, dude. And this guy's got a phone. This guy's got a computer. But yeah, that, that one guy over there just has a, a sharpener. Um, I wonder what the controls are. I'm trying to figure them out. Um, Q does nothing. I can't press space. I can't jump. I can just only click and um, then move around, it seems like. I'm kind of jerking around when I move to the chair, though. Um, how does it feel to be 50% there of entering the partnership? I'm so close. I can feel it in my scrotes. That's what Rock would say. But I do love it. Thank you guys so much for, you know, giving me... I keep looking up there to the webcam, but it's over here. Thank you guys so much uh, for, you know, getting me this far, and I and I really do appreciate it. Everyone re put poor, put poor Stanley to work and said adios. They're like, hey, let's just leave Stanley in this room. Oh! Uh-oh, I turned off his computador, eh? Need to... I'm gonna touch everything. Forget you, narrator, man. I don't care. I'm gonna touch all the stuff. Uh, okay, I'm just clicking aimlessly now. Oh, 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 how did this happen? Ha, ha, <laughs> how did I jump just then? Ha, hello, hello. I'm just, oh, hello, this is my office. Yes, I feel it. All right. Uh, what time is it again? Oh, that's so cool. Now it's like uh, 11, is this real time? Like, it's like 11.30 now. There's no jump because I think they don't want Stanley to jump around the office. Yeah, true. What's that noise? What's that noise? Are you guys hearing that noise? Oh, some some guy died. Not died. Or he could have died. He's, he's... I keep looking up there, man. He could have died. Or it's just him got fired. It's what you do. You put your stuff in a box and you take it. And you... Gone. Oh. Did that drawer open up just then? I can't tell. I don't know if I opened that or if it opened up and I clicked it. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Ugh. I tried to cover the mic. Hopefully you guys... Ew! Sneeze on my arm! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Man, the air conditioning is loud in his office. Yeah, it's like, Ooh, air conditioner go brr. I hate Mondays. Uh, oh, someone dropped their coffee. Ah, oh, you dropped your coffee. Who's in there? Oh, they escaped in the air vents. That's what happened. Okay. Oh, hello. 
Oh, <laughs> I was stuck. I stucked myself. I stucked myself. I know since I said something else, but oh, hello. Wish I could see inside that room. Hello. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. Um, I'm gonna touch this plant though. I'm gonna touch all over this plant. Oh, let me touch this plant. Mm. How long is this game? It kind of depends on your play style, I think. As from what I can gather, like like me, of course, the rules is too good with the air conditioning noise. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Um, I like how some lights are out too, like the real office. Um, but I'm thinking I can probably play it at least to one ending in two hours. I'm a rebel. I'm gonna do the right. Yeah, I'm gonna go right. Like I don't care. Forget you, God. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I wanted to defy you. What if I just looked in? It's like a murder. I mean, kind of. I mean, that's totally like unexpected. I could. St I honestly. Oh, someone's computer's open. I'm gonna need their emails. Um, that would be kind of cool to have like a game like this where it's un totally unsuspecting, kind of bright, not necessarily scary, but it's just like, and you see like a dude like running up, maybe like in the background or something. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know what I'm expecting these to do. I'm just. I'm touching everything. I'm going around the office like going like this. <laughs> like, honestly. Hello. Hello. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just mm -hmm. to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Mm -hmm. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Oh. Drinking it all in. Hey, the Hulk bar. Hey. Uh, apart from the narrator, uh, who's the... Who Was this yes. created by one person? Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Do I hint? Or do I get a sense of sarcasm? God. Excuse me. Excuse me. This room bordered on creepy Excuse me. And reflected poorly on his overall personality. Uh. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Okay. I'm kind of hurt. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. I hear you, but I'm trying to address my chat. Thank you very much. Um, apart from the narrator, it was created by one person. It was created by a Darby, which is the same, or Davey, my bad, keeps screwing up his name, who made the uh, Beginner's Guide, which is why I'm playing this. The air should keep this, I can't record for a bit. How's the game going? It's going great so far, I love it. Um, hey, Assassin Rider, hey! See, I should stream earlier in the beginning. I want a drink! I have money, give me Coke. Give me the Coke. Dollar twenty-five. that's a steal! I can I can't worry about these chains and things that I do my coworkers. Hey, I do. Especially this plant. I like this plant. Uh, I kind of jump on stuff when I go forward sometimes, but sometimes not. So I don't know. All right. Well, peace out, guys. I want a coffee. Coffee meat. Nope. Good old Darby. Yeah, I think it's Davy, but I keep calling him Darby. He's gonna be Darby now. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. Mm -hmm. Took the first open door on his left to get back to business. First open door on his left. Nah. That's the door in front of me, though. Okay, guys. This is the door he told me to go to, but there's also a door there. The English... Uh, the, 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 bleh, the narrator sounds like exactly like the English... I can read. The narrator sounds exactly like the voices we hear in the English listening exam. Soda machine, not working, man, the real... <laughs> It just pre it's like wah, but you press a, or you press the button and like another soda comes out. You're like, I didn't ask for Pepsi. I wanted a Sprite. I think there's a hair on my cup. Um, so I think we should. I want to forget you. I want to keep going. I'm going here now. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Yeah, I can get on this. I can kind of see what's in this room here. Like, the area kinds of remind me of the one in 
Oh my gosh, the narrator kind of reminds me of the one back in the older Top Gear seasons. I think I know who you're talking about. I like how when I press stuff, it's keyboard sounds. Where am I right now? Don't murder me. I'm not to be murdered. I'm just Stan the man. I'm just doing my job. I was clicking clacking on some keys and suddenly I got here. I don't know why I gave myself an accent just then. I don't know why I got here. Oh! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Well, that's the game, everybody. I killed myself. Um, okay, we're starting out from the beginning now. Okay, uh, something I do want to mention... <laughs> I actually didn't mean to kill myself, I just thought there'd be an invisible wall and it was just gonna... Is Amazon... Is Amazon so many packages? It could be Amazon. Hmm. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay, yeah, mean? yeah, I got it, I got it. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, that was free not gonna lie. Click on the door, three... Three... Wait, three forty? 4.30, my goodness, I can read, guys, I can read. Five times? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times, is that all that you think an achievement is worth? Yes. No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for give them to me. effort. Give them to me. Give them. five clicks. Come on. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Fine then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Come on, dude. Perhaps fifty clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly fifty clicks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a true achievement. Come on, dude. 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 Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Uh, and the Humpty Bar, I just see your comment where it said spoiler alert. I'm not going to read it though, because it, uh, man jumps high to see where the place is not. Clearly you can read a count. Four, oh my gosh, what did he say? 427? Isn't that what he said? 427? The chat, help, map me up. 427, right? He said that? It's 427, right? 2019. 20. Okay, for. There's not a 427, is there? Is it... Maybe it's on the other side of the room. He said 427, didn't he? And then... What did he say? Oh, that's me! <laughs> that's me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, didn't he said? Oh, wait. He said 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm doing it right, right? Ah, I didn't hear what he said! Can, can someone... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah! Yes, I put in the front, but I didn't really spoil anything. 417! Thank you, we... Andy, thank you. He saved he saved my butt just then. I was I was doing that one. Ah, okay. So hold on. Let me go find four seventeen. It's in the other room. I think right. Yep. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, great. Now go click a few times on door four three seven. Three seven. <sighs> You're making me do this, narrator, and I hate you. Four three seven. Wait, that's this way, right? What up, Kona? What up, Ed Had? What up? I'm having a great time not playing. I mean, you're kind of playing this game? 437. Wait, there's not a 437, is there? Where's 430? Oh, 437? 
four thirty-six. Ah. One, two, three. Excellent. Oh. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door four one five. Let's give it ten clicks or so. Four one five. Four. Four one five. This way. I just want to see what this does. I, I, I'm just curious now. How many clicks? I think he said two, right? Or ten? What do you say? I'm just clicking until it does something. Back to door number four three seven. Uh, four three seven. Where'd it go? Uh, uh, which one of you four three seven? I forgot which four three seven. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh. Let's see. How about you click on? Well, I don't know. The copy machine. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, 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 All right. Uh, uh, back to room four one seven. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Come on. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, yeah. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. I actually did that earlier. <laughs> 419, right? I did that. <laughs> 4 one, 419, 419. My goodness. I'm, I'm okay. I got this. I got this. Don't worry about it. 4 419. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. 416. Four, oh, <laughs> you called the wrong way. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to do this for hours. He's going to do this for hours. I bet he is. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine do that one again. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I love this. I don't know why. What is happening? He's just telling me to do stuff, and I'm doing it. Hey, George. Finish it up, Stanley. Five clicks on door 430. Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, yeah. only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? Honestly, that did that did feel like amazing. I don't know if I'm sweating yet, but that, that was amazing. I don't know, it, just, it was fun. I do like a game that rewards, like, random click stuff. I don't know, just random stuff. I like it. I like this game. I love it so far. I love it. I love it. Whatever I said. Yes, we did it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Um, what the heck is this game, hey, Simon? Um, it's the Stanley Parable. Uh, you came in at a good time. Um, oh. Did I close that door? Oh, I did! Oh! I don't know you how to do that. Oh, huh, okay. Wait, can I do this one? Oh, no, I'm trapped! <laughs> this is fun. Can I do this with other doors? No, just just those two doors? Okay. I feel like you were running for real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back down the... Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, so before we entered the one on the right, and he got mad, and then we were like in an Amazon shipping this station. Not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps Forget you. To stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, so wow. here it is. Yes, this room. What a beautiful but eager to get back to business. Stand what a beautiful but eager. Okay, we went. We went straight. What was that? Was something moving in there? I think I'm, something moving. Something's creepy. All right, so ah. And then Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fine. Don't kill ago. myself. I like also such like warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift while its motion may cause death. Uh So, I didn't actually see that before. Okay, so hold on. There's a good Let me, let me just uh. Look Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that mm -hmm. the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Mm -hmm. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Bobby. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. 
Come to the desk at 419 said awaiting input on the cutest. I don't care what it means. Oh, guys, I can't, I can't go back now. This door is closed. But anyway, isn't that kind of cool? How's like a warehouse has like a lift that goes from there to here? That's kind of cool. All right. Hona, yeet. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. <laughs> Can I go up here? Can I go in here? Okay, I guess not. Alright. I kinda wanna kill myself again, to be honest. I wanna go down there. I wanna go to I wanna be there. Is there like a little level I can jump to? Can I jump to that level? No, I probably can't jump to that level. Alright, so there is funny. I do like him. Sometimes. Okay. Alright, uh sure. I don't like this. Oh, this is spooky. <laughs> That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm out. I'm out. No, I'm not. I'm not answering that. I'm not answering it. I'm not answering that. I'm not answering it. Forget you. I'm in the corner. Forget you. I hate you. I hate you. You never loved me. I'm not answering your phone. Get out of here, Jimmy. <laughs> I named her Jimmy. Like a man, please. <laughs> just crying. I'm not answering it. You hear me, God? Not doing it. I'll probably keep it quiet because Tico shouldn't record this video. But you know what? Just. I'm not answering it. You hear me? You hear me? I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not. Like, how do you. How long does this can go when I don't answer it? Like, how long can we go? I'm not, because I'm, I'm sure it's given me other choices before. I want to leave. I want to leave. Let me out here. Let me out here. No. How about unplug it? What if I unplug it? As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually... Chose incorrectly. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music nah. comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? <laughs> what did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. Uh. And you think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol yep. for real world decision making. Oh yeah, you don't write it. Grasp the severity of the situation. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Go for Please it. Observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. <laughs> it's the best part of being a real person. I love if this. Choosing correctly can also be the most dangerous. And also, hey, you frame. In this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Hey, Stephen. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. He could. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer <laughs> radius of his house. I like these as a guy. What would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. Nah. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. My goodness, it's 4.30. I'm supposed to have a bad sack and crap? What is that? Excellent. 
Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Uh, man. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, <laughs> just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, I the bet. instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce yes, the sir. material covered in this video. All right. Ah, welcome oh, hello. Back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on mm -hmm. good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Now. I'm going to answer the phone. I'm going to answer the phone now. I want to click everything else. I'm not going to go through the door. You imagine playing this game under the influence. Uh, and just everybody was... Uh, I saw your achievement wubs about the... Uh, this achievement if you try to jump several times. Like with the space bar. Crap, it doesn't remind me of Bowser. Cuba, get out of here! Aren't you supposed to play this game later? Get out of here. Stop it. Get some help. Alright, so... No. 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 Okay, fine. Huh? Fine. You want me to fling myself off again? What? I'm gonna die again. <laughs> I'm gonna die again. Hey, is it jumping off the platform and dying? Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. I just said they put a fence on it. They put a fence on it. you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Get me out of here. I want to die. Darn you, God. Get me out of here. Go myself. You put a fence on it. This stream is fun already. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. What is it? A swipe card? Beep! Beep! Alright, let's hope it'll do it, but it didn't do it. Fine then. Now they put up fences? Yeah, because he said that he didn't want me killing myself, which is exactly what I was gonna do. Uh, so. Do not lie. If you're lying, stop it. Right now. Fine. Okay, let's go back. To something. I was supposed to do something. No more bad choices anymore, Kona, lol. Only bad choices. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. I'll be back soon. There was, must be a way to jump. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Mm -hmm. That means choosing responsibly and uh. always putting the story first. Huh. I'm quite Cold sure chill. you'll be up to the task. Yes. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. <clears throat> When hmm. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yes. he entered the door on his left. Alright, well it's time to enter- Ah, psych! <laughs> Forget you! <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Hurry back in the other direction, perhaps we're not too late. No, no, get me out of here, get me out of here. I want to click everything. I want destruction! Oh, I clicked something that will- I bet this is completely possible. Oh, I bet. I bet, but it's like the game's just gonna crash. I bet or whatever. All right. No. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not do. I'm not going in the door. I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not do. I'm not doing it. I like that painting. I'm not doing it. What if I go? Also, I'm pretty sure I said it, but see you later, Eframe. I uh, hope you come back. It's okay if you don't. I don't want to go through the door! I don't wanna! I don't wanna! If I close this door. Can I close this door? I've closed the other doors. Ugh. Just stay there. In here. Oh, and hey, Nick. Kona, is it your birthday this month? Yes! My birthday is actually... Is it Monday or Sunday? What day is this? Uh, hold on, 
me a second. I'll get you guys the right date. If I can open my calendar correctly, there we go. My birthday is this Monday, or next Monday, rather. Next Monday. And just stay there. But see, I don't, I don't want to just sit here. So I guess I will just have to go in. I hate you. Eh. Can you go to the left, but then immediately run out? Maybe. Let's try it. Nah. It, it, it's making me go through it. Mm. Happy birthday, Coda. Oh, thank you. Ah. Hate you. Oh, it's ruined. You I can't believe after everything we talked about that you. My story. You've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? Get Chris out of the broom closet. So special about seeing the game undone. Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth this <laughs> now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. Mm. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I, I like do? this I like this voice actor's voice. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No. I have to. No. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I died. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. <laughs> what the heck you, happened? Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. We'll forget you. What, did you think that would be funny? Yes. You just had to see? Yeah. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? No. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He no. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. No. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? Is that blood? I don't there's know. There's a world outside of you. You're a child. I'm a child. You're a child. <sighs> My story... If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. I didn't do anything. It just stopped. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two I guess I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to. It's gonna make me do it. Door on his left. Or, okay. I'm just doing a poll in the chat. Do you guys... I'm pretty sure it's just resetting me back to the point that I just went to. But do you guys want me to go to the left, which is what he wants me to do, or to the right again? I'm sure it's gonna play out the exact same on the right again, but I don't know. There might be something different on the right. I don't know. Uh. But no, you don't have to give me anything for my birthday, Nick. Oh, thank you. But no, I'm good. Uh, but what do you guys want me to do? Left. I kind of choked there. Left or right? Let me know in the chat. Sorry. I'm having like a weird thing on my eye. On the right. <laughs> Howling wins is right. I got one for right. Oh, something on my eye. Anyone else want to wanna vote in? Through the right. Screw the voice in your head. <laughs> okay, but two for the right. Alright, so anyone else? Anyone else? Because I'm here in a right. I'm here in a right. Ah. Huh? Ah, uh, I mean, we can always just play it again. Look, go to the right again. If it's the same, then go to the left. The whole bar say flip a coin like Two Face, but you know what? Everyone else already said right, so I'm gonna do it again. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! Is behave exactly as Steve would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the. When I click, it I takes me back here. To the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Hold on, give me a second. I want to see if it was me. When Stanley came to a set of two open give me a second. Doors, he entered the door on his left. I want to see if it was me clicking or if it, it really just ended there, so I'm not going to do anything when I get in. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Okay, yeah, it's just the game doing it. 
I thought it was me. Behave exactly as Stanley would. I just clicked it at the time it did it. All right, so. Putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be fine. up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Eh. All right. <clears throat> nah. When Stanley came to a set of two open nah, doors, fine, fine then. Entered the door on his left. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's not letting me, like, even if I keep doing it, Nick, I think it's just going to keep resetting me. And I do want to make this a fun stream, so. Fine then, God. I'll do what you say. Then you gotta go left. I know, right? I don't want to go left. I always want to go right. Eh. Oh. I saw something out there for a second. Where was that? I wanted to see I saw something out there for a second. Did you guys see that too? Was it me? Oh. Oh, no, never mind. It's just my double screen again. There's not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I like the, uh, get Chris out of the broom closet. Um, let's see. Hire someone to fix synergy papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire someone to fire the paper synergy guy. Who moved my desk? Keep, please keep targets on the topic of blah, 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 blah. It just resets you, so now you can have both of these paths without having to replay all the previous steps. That's true. Excuse me. Hello. Thingies. Money. More money. Things, but with more money to buy more things. Graphs. Graphs of things about money. This is, this is such like someone trying to be... Oh, hello. Please, no more charts. I'm begging you. Please, no more charts. The boss appreciation minute. Okay. Sure. Monetize free to play. <laughs> what? Can't monetize that. Broom closet. Oh, I do get. Was it Chad out of the broom closet? What's this? Chris. 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 Chris, are you in there, buddy? It's okay, buddy. I got you. Chris. Chris. <laughs> get Chris. It's Chris for Family Guy. I saw someone on DF Squared. There's an achievement for not playing the game for three years. How would they do that, though? Like, why would the... Chris! 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 He's... I can't open the door. I feel bad for Chris. He's stuck in the broom closet. So, alright. Sorry, Chris. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nah. I'm jumping. How do you jump? Is there, like, a... Chris is probably a goner. I'm curious. Is there, like, a... Duck is control. Uh, strafe. What does that even mean? Oh, like move. Okay, so duck is control. Okay. I almost hit quit <laughs> by accident. Ah, oh, no. oh, I am ninja man. Hey, frame. Whoa, look at me. <laughs> Go up the stairs like a little ninja man. All right, there we go. Okay. I don't know if you want to see Chris about me doing in the room closet. Please, no more charts. Very. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> uh, sorry. About that cough came out of nowhere. Um, and please, no more charts. Very person in office presentations would be like, or every person. My bad. Um. Poor Chris would be stuck in that room closet for entirety. What is up with this? He has a swanky dank office, don't he? This boss man do. I right, well, out. No. Oh. Oh, no. No. Huh. Oh. boss man. Boss man. I click your paper, boss man. I went over there. I went over there. I want your... What is this? Your glass of water. Alright. Well, in here? No? Eh? Eh? A plant? Drapes? I don't know. Going to fetching on this for this new cam. <laughs> exactly. So look at this. When I get closer to it, you can also see my face. Even more so. <laughs> I can't get too close to the desks in the way. But yeah, here... Ooh. Ooh. It's super... Focusy. <laughs> Castle, uh, castle entrance boss man. Oh yeah, that's right. They do have a bit of a castle. 
I like how he has a tie in his office. Is this the office? Oh. His manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. There's a panda with Shocked, a gun on his head. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Why would you know? Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. I gotta say bye to Nick, he narrator. a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Come on, dude. Okay, there we go. Um, uh, bye, Nick. Uh, I gotta go back to work now. Sad time. See you later. Bye, Nick. Hope you have a good time at work. Hopefully it's not anything like this. Hopefully you still have work, people. Stanley Excuse me. spoke the code. Night Shark 115. No. He spoke it into the receiver. Right no. There on the wall. No. No. Why is there a panda with a gun to it? I'm sorry, is there a problem? Yeah, there is. You didn't mishear me, did you? Yeah, I did. Please speak the code no. into the receiver. No. Otherwise we can't get on with the no. story. This is a crucial step. No. I can't hear you, I'm hiding. I can't hear you, I'm hiding. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you had better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The nope. kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. Nope. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. No, no. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, nope. then why did you come here? You ah. had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. <laughs> oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he oh. entered the door on his left. I'm a... I think I broke the game. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. There's me. I, I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Stanley. Is everything all right? Oh no, he's going to cry. Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Do something. Anything. You're gonna get sad. More important than you can ever know. I no. need this. No. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. I'm sad. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'm sorry. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Okay. Okay. I think I got a sad narrator ending. I apparently did. Um... But see that- oh. <laughs> I love this. We should have every game uh, a way to end the game early. It's kind of funny. Um, the g What happened? I just- I broke the game. It's kind of funny. The game- like, I'm going in like not doing a single thing right. And the game made me legit feel bad about doing that to the extent in which I'm gonna do everything right now, because I don't want to make the narrator sad again. That actually made me sad. Like, I don't want to make him sad anymore. So I'm gonna do exactly what he wants me to do now, because I don't want to make him sad again. I don't want to make him cry. He was about to cry. He was about to make- he- I had more emotion about the freaking narrator than I had did playing that stupid Cancer Dragon game. <laughs> that game was bad. I don't know, there's something- I don't know, emotional. He's like, Stanley? Are you there? Can you hear me? I don't know, he was just sad! <laughs> that was sad. That was saddening. I'm legit sad now. Game, you successfully made me do the thing, and I hope you are aware of it. And they were kind of sus. Am I supposed to, um, prick the thing All again? All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting no. room. Perhaps okay. he had simply missed a memo. Okay, invoke the fields. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. It does see who said. Oh, okay. It was it's like night team was asking for input, right? Input achieved. It's purple. I don't get it. Oh. Maybe you? Oh. Okay, maybe I broke it. I don't know. I'm confused. Can someone look this up for me, please? <laughs> did I do it right? Did I do it wrong? Seems like I didn't do it right. It seems like I, I got a few more in there, right? But, I, okay, well, whatever. I'm out. Okay, cool. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he okay. entered the door on his left. I was looking at that up there. Okay. You got me. I'm gonna do what you say to do because I don't want you sad again. <laughs> do everything the narrator says, do you get if you do everything the narrator says, do you get a promotion? Possibly, I don't know. I wanna know about the input computer thing. Thank you, uh, I think it was Bunny who mentioned that before. Thank you for pointing that out. I didn't notice that before. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> the music changed to a more cautious vibe. Yeah. Oh, Nick, Chris! Chris! It didn't open before! <laughs> Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Someone let Chris out of the broom closet. Where'd Chris go? There was nothing here. No choice. Chris. Made, no path to follow. Chris. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Chris. Chris. You you up there, buddy? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there, doing sweet F.A. <laughs> I mean... Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Okay, alright, alright. doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation. No, I don't want to make you sad again. Confused. I don't want to make you sad again, so I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. There you go, see? I'm out. Now, where's Chris? What if <laughs> boss music starts to play? <laughs> Coming to a staircase, <gasps> Stanley walked upstairs. I can go down now. Office. See, I don't want to make him sad again, but I want to do the thing. I don't want to make him sad. I want to see what happens. Is Chris down here? Chris? 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 Are you down here, buddy? Chris? Oh, we're getting spooky now. Chris? It got quiet. Chris? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. Chris, you in there? Fired for that. Chris? And in such a competitive economy, why had Chris? he taken that risk? You in the trunk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. There's cars sense. in here. How's this car in getting As here? Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Huh. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Oh. He yelled. This is all dreaming. a dream. I'm all dreaming. Oh, what dreaming. Relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. Mm. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon 
I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. I don't want to so, go to he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. I then he imagined himself uh, soaring through space on a magical star field and oh. it too appeared. It was so much fun and stand that he had still not woken up. Whee. How was he remaining so lucid? Oh. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. Yeah. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Uh-huh. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the ah. voice was describing itself ah. being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing <laughs> me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. I was flying a minute ago. To speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, uh, uh. if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in yeah. control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, mm. and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Yes. The press of the mattress on his back. Feeling it. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Uh. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Mm. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Of course. Is narrator okay? Please, so don't wake me up. I have a boss. I have an office. I have an office. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must speak in any way. And everything went black. I want to make sure my camera's not like getting too hot. It's it's getting warm, but not too bad. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Huh? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. What? She rose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and what? then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Well, I died. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. <laughs> I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, okay. seeing this man made her feel better. This dead guy, I feel good. She had scheduled for that day. Sure. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Nice. And then she turned and ran. You didn't report it to the police, you're just like, dead body. I feel good. I'm out. <laughs> Not judging, but this smells like weed. I like how Kona has become the character wholesome. Alright, so we have, I think we booked the game a couple of times, but you know what? We're going to keep going. Okay, so, hold on, there's a computer over here. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? It wasn't this one. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Is it? Which one is it? Oh, it was this one, wasn't it? 
Maybe I've already pressed it and oh, now it's this one. Oh, I see. I see now. Whenever I restart, I have to press the button. Brilliant. All right, now I'm gonna do stuff to make me press buttons. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yeah, yeah, blah blah blah. Door on his left. I got you. I want to see if by looking yeah, at it. Not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Like maybe it won't let me open the door now. Boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, see, it doesn't let me open it. It won't let me open it the first time. Huh. All right, sorry, Chris. Be in there. All right, that's when I went downstairs. Staircase, Stanley walked upstairs. I'm going upstairs. I'm going. I'm going. So what is this the room? Is this a room? No, it's not a room. But anyway, how's everybody doing? I keep forgetting to ask you guys that, but how are you doing? How are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Executive bathroom? This wasn't here before! I guess I can't because I'm not an executive, huh? Okay. I just like- is it supposed to look like Gmod? It kind of looks like Gmod a little bit. Is it, I mean, is it supposed to look like that? It kind of looks like that. This wasn't here before. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. It's different. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What? What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two... Eight four five, but of Two, course, eight, four, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. It's a camera in there watching me. And the whole, it says, uh, "All good, enjoying the stream. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. I woke up a little bit late today, which is why um, my 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 eyes might look a little bit puffy." Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. Two, eight, four, five. Uh -huh. by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, uh -oh. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Uh Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I don't know about this. You're super tired. <laughs> yeah, I think I feel that. We're all a little bit super tired sometimes. Can't complain, I got food, water, Wi-Fi in a bed, I'm thriving. Oh, that's a good way to think about it, Ephraim. You're taking care of, you're doing good. You know, I think it's pretty good. Hello? Getting kind of spooky again. I can't see over here. Is there something over here? Whoop. Oh, uh-oh. I've seemed to have backed into- oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Alright. Hello? Uh? I think I'll probably end it at... 12.30. Uh, so I, obviously this game has multiple endings. I'm not quite sure which endings... Deeper into the, building, the good one. He felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. Uh, as though he felt more free to think for himself. Yes. To question the nature of his job. Yes. Why did he feel this now? When for years it had Why? never occurred to him. Why? This question would not go unanswered for long. It's kind of creepy. Let me back up. I want to go back up. Why does this elevator only go down? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, hello. Hello. Kind of got little alien vibes now. Hello. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." No, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Let me let me back in. <coughs> I'm out. Speaking of endings, may I say the number of? Wait, hold on. Speaking of endings, may I say the number that of endings I saw players talk about? Kona. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, my day's okay. Got a a lot better by doing the stream. Oh, thanks, Bunny. I'm glad your day is getting better. Hey, Kona. 
What kind of music do you like? I like ska. That's ska music. Escape. Mind control facility. Escape. Mind control facility. Escape. Mind control facility. I'm escaping. Bye. Peace out. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? All right. I mean, I'll, I'm gonna try it just because the I want to see it. Behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around now and I'm get good. back on track. I want to see what happens. Let me out! Let me out! Conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Sure. This is spooky. <laughs> I don't like this. This is very spooky, as I think Bunny said. Okay, one thing I don't like is spooky things. I don't like spooky things. Um, one thing I am going to try though, uh, for my Twitch, hopefully in October, I want to stream Amnesia. If I can actually play it, because I've tried to play it a couple times and I and I can't play I'm actually getting goosebumps. You guys see that? You guys see it? I'm all goosebumpy e, But... Ah! Uh, did you want a burger? Are yeah. you done? No. Okay, it seemed like... You're done. Okay, never mind. No, I'm still recording. Why? So, did you want a burger? Lunch? Yeah. Okay. What do you want for drink? Well, can you give me like twenty more minutes? I mean, are you hungry now? No, but I mean, are you gonna are you gonna play all day? Like, what's? No, no, I'm just thinking. Like, in twenty more minutes, I'll I'll probably end it. You'll end it. Okay. Yeah, because I'm getting multiple endings, but I want to make it too long. I also make sure my camera doesn't overheat. So. Right. Okay. Oh, twenty minutes. Sorry, he's, he's getting hungry, and as am I. I don't know, I signed up for a horror game. I know, right? This has uh, 18 endings. One YouTuber was talking about them in one video. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because I don't, I don't want it, I don't want it screaming. Keep it timing was perfect. It was, wasn't it? I don't like this. I don't like this. Because it's as far as it goes down. I don't want this. <laughs> New cam is good, but did not show us goosebumps. See, I just think it couldn't focus on my arms because I'm focusing on my face. That's probably what my guess is because it automatically focuses on my face. I probably should turn that off for later, but. Uh, goosebumps. Whoa! Goosebumps! I don't like this. I also don't like this. He was a hungry boy. Indeed, he is. Oh. Can I go back? Oh, I can't go back. Ah, I so don't like this, man. Ah, uh, I'm so don't like this. I so don't like this. I'm getting goosebumps again, but you're, Paul, will it focus on it now? If, if I hide my face behind it, will it go? Will it go? Go! <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Okay. Don't look back, Coda. I already did. I'm just gonna... Ah! Okay. <laughs> Wasn't that scary? Ugh. Oh. Oh. What? What the? What? Oh. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Hello. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. I can squat. Forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss. Like plugging the eye force from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Now nah, I'm good. If I squat, am I be okay if I squat? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as what? Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Who are you? Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Who are you? Oh! Was I supposed to crouch? Was that supposed to save me? Survive the fall, the man has knees of steel! Indeed he do. Alright, maybe if I go this way. No, I can't go that way. Hello? I guess I'll go this way. The Stanley Parable. Whoop.
I guess I have to keep going forward. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Of course. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What is this? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do what? you see that Stanley was already dead oh. from the moment he hit start? Oh, that's so cool! It's the game! Okay, this is cool. Here's where I start. Okay, the office layout. The blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout the development to do the core out layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Corridor. The pacing and uh, opening section was important to get right. The corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. The two doors. The two doors was the first uh, concrete piece of the Stanley Parable design. Once it was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration to the contradiction the room posed. Hmm. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. It's darn right, man. It's so cool. Office computers. Turn them all off. This is cool. It's like the game in the game. No, I want to get on there. Button sounds. A selection of sounds throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound makes a keyboard stroke and synthesized tones. <laughs> I like that one. Here's some credits. See? Credits. See, there's Davy, or Darby. Davy, yeah. He was cool. Alright, which way? This is the gallery of the game. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna go this way. This game, this part looks kind of spooky. Now, here's the uh, office, boss's office. Screens from the development of the boss's office. But uh, the person I went to was green. Office clock. Yep, there it is. Freedom ending. Hello. This is the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Hello. Okay. Countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. Freedom ending. This is the freedom ending as it exists exited in beta. Okay. Monitor room elevator. For a time, the elevator in the monitor room could go up or down with freedom above the countdown below. We abandoned this when players found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down and placed the endings together instead. Uh, watch out for Casper. That's my last name. Yo, that's my setup. Yo! There it is. You, you had a lot of setups, dude. Alright, uh, let's see. The countdown room. An early version. Countdown room. There's a countdown involved, there's a freedom involved. Game design mock up. This is level is that William, the level designer, sent Darby, the writer, and kind of audition piece. The length of this level got William hired to design the full game. Much of the environment has changed. So basically, all of this mock up is still in the game, though much of the environment has changed. That's cool. I, I like this. I like this. This is fun. I don't know. It's kind of cool to see what the... It's like inside the game. The lounge. An early version of the lounge. The office. I don't know. I just find this... I find this cool. The cargo lift. Uh, the cargo lift. Oh. Oh, hello. The apartment timer. In a previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. <coughs> Not picking up the phone lead to a different ending. Also, it's one that I had before. There was a countdown before. Ah, it said there was a, a button pushed. Ah. There's so many things to learn here. Zending levers. The levers were originally part of the zending. The player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color they had pulled. Okay. Zending. What is a zending? The screenshot 
depicts an early version of the ending known as the Zending, which is eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Zending model. The Zending went through uh, early many ran iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon it and change it to again shortly after the launch. Oh, so there's actually another ending of the game that they just took out. The game is now paused. Begin. Oh, escape menu. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape room. And unfortunately, very few players realized this was what you're supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. Wait, what? For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do, and that was very frustrating for everyone. What? Okay. I bet this is that ending, isn't it, huh? Countdown desk. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I'm supposed to do, huh? I'm supposed to restart it from the... That's what I'm supposed to do. Trailers. We ran a major teaser for over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one released May 2012. It features a series of broken rooms and a voice of the narrator informing the viewers that he's a brand new version of the Sanity Parable. That's no audio, though. I don't hear anything. I don't know if you guys are hearing something. Hmm. Nice, nice. Okay, alright. So they restated the game, restarted the game in the escape ending that triggered the ending. I think that's what it's telling me to do. Oh, I haven't been here yet. The meeting room. Option. What? Oh. Wait, there's a vent. What? The maintenance layout. The flow of the hallways of the first two doors was important to get that right since players will replay them so many times. We discussed a number of designs, but ultimately was the simplest version that won out. Alright, because there's there's one here where it has like a vent from the lounge. So hold on. To confusion ending. The other entrance would be hidden depending on how you entered. You're making me want to replay this game! Ugh! Max seat now and replay it so I can disobey it so I can get the confusion ending, which is maybe what I got before? I guess what I got before. Because see, if this one exists, then the other ones probably exist, which there might be a vent in the lounge I can go to. Or, there could be another one where I get one that depends on how I enter the room. It was the simplest ending. <laughs> Thank you, Lego Bad Plays. 18 endings, Kona. 18. Well. We already got like four of them. Being honest. You already got here, right? Yeah, I've already been here. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. Mm -hmm. How they both wish to be free. Yeah. Alright, I hear you, lady. Let's go. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? Need what? No, perhaps not. Who? Sometimes these things cannot be seen. What? <laughs> we probably could do multiple streams of this, to be honest. Oh. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. And push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Now I'm good. Do choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time Nah. Cause it looks like this is gonna have two different endings here at this point. So I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> Get here and then go back and hit the escape and then Oh wait, it's not gonna do it for me. I literally have to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? Yep. Yep, yep. It's making me do it. I can't I can't not do it. So never mind. Oh, I hit this mic. Never mind, I'm gonna have to do it. Begin this game again. <laughs> we already got four of these endings, man. Alright, well 
I think now is a good time more than ever to. Oh, before I forget. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the <gasps> meeting room. Perhaps they all say the same thing now. Memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Well, then where's that one computer? Is it gone now? <gasps> oh no! I was going so good. I was so good. I'm sad now. Yeah, we're we're gonna do this in like multiple streams. Let me let me get to the two door ending here. Let me go to the two doors here. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Boop. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I want to go through the vent so bad. All right, so let me go ahead and um, I'll just keep it running for now. But um. I am gonna probably do this in a few streams, actually, not just two. Probably a few streams. I do very much, very so much love this game. Definitely, although not like um, as emotionally driven, of course, as the um, uh, a beginner's guide. It's still very much in the same kind of spirit as the beginner's guide, and I definitely love this game. I love it when you can make all these sorts of these crazy choices. While simultaneously being wrong, they're also simultaneously right, because clearly they've programmed the game to do it, and so even though it's a wrong choice as far as story rise, it's a right choice as far as, like, ending-wise, that makes sense. This was incredibly fun. I had a great, wonderful time, and I hope that you guys did, too. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. Um, hopefully I'll continue uh, this, this playthrough again tomorrow. Same time, same place. 11 o'clock, that seems to be a good time. It seems like for most people, um, a good time. Uh, but let me know how you guys enjoy the game so far. The Hulk to Bar says, The game's fun. I do not mind watching you try to get all the endings and making the narrator cry. <laughs> but he says, I really like the game. Not gonna lie. I'm I'm having a fun, great time. I really think also Captain Kiba should <laughs> play this game. I feel like he's gonna like it. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you so much. Here, let me get, let me get my big face going on here. So you guys can see my lovely face and this lovely camera work we got going on here. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. I'm having a great, wonderful time. But hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Every day I'm probably going to be streaming probably for a while, at least because I don't have a job. So I have free time in order to stream as long as I want to. But I'm getting kind of hungry, so I do have to end it probably at... Uh, 12.30. I think 12.30 is a good time to end it, which is now. 12.30 is now. So, playing for an hour and a half, I think. Yeah. That's pretty good, I think. An hour and a half stream, I think, is pretty good. Nice, short, and sweet. I get multiple endings. See, this is not bad. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope that you have a good rest every morning, afternoon, evening, night. And I hope to see you next time. Alright. <laughs>